Right now, the jury is being excused for the day, wrapping up deliberations at 4.30. Jurors have been deliberating the fate of former President Donald Trump after a weeks-long trial in a New York courtroom. So far, jurors have met for eight hours over two different days. ABC's Rena Roy is following the developments. Jurors are back behind closed doors in a Manhattan courthouse as they consider whether or not to convict a former U.S. president on criminal charges for the first time in history. So far, sending several notes to the judge, asking for rereads of testimony and the instructions given to them on the law. Donald Trump perking up in court to listen as parts of testimony were reenacted by court reporters, at one point writing a post-it note, then physically throwing it at his defense attorney. The jury of 12 New Yorkers asking to rehear the testimony from former National Enquirer publisher David Pecker about a 2016 phone call with Trump about an alleged affair with former Playboy model Karen McDougal. They also reheard Michael Cohen's testimony about a 2015 meeting with Trump and Pecker at Trump Tower, where Prosecutors say they hatched their catch and kill scheme. The jury paying close attention to the rereads, some even taking notes. Trump facing 34 counts of falsifying business records in connection to a hush money payment Cohen made to Stormy Daniels ahead of the 2016 election for her silence about their alleged sexual encounter. Prosecutors identifying 11 falsified invoices, 12 falsified ledger entries, and 11 checks falsely recorded as legal payment in what they say was an effort to hide the information from voters. Nine checks signed by Donald Trump. Trump has denied any sexual encounter with Daniels and McDougal and has pleaded not guilty. And Trump has had support once again here in court today, including from North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.